YouTube and welcome to the Celtic Clydesdale show. I'm Jim, the Celtic Clydesdale. Um, this is my first episode for the channel and in this episode basically what I'm going to do is introduce myself and explain what we're going to do with this channel. Uh, so as I stated, I'm Jim. Uh, I currently live in North Carolina. Uh, I was born and raised in Indianapolis, Indiana. Joined the Navy um, out of high school, pretty much out of high school, and served in the Navy for 20 years on submarines as a nuclear reactor operator. Uh, during that time, particularly back in 2008, I, um, I was challenged basically to do a triathlon uh, in Honolulu, Hawaii. That triathlon was a sprint triathlon that consisted of a 450 meter swim, a 12 and a half mile bike ride and a 5k run which if you're watching this you know that's 3.1 miles um so i did the triathlon uh i was told that i couldn't because at the time i weighed about 230 pounds uh stood six foot tall um and basically i was told because of my size i could not do the race so that point I had to prove the guy wrong and did the race uh, it was at that point that I actually fell in love with triathlon so that was the start off of course I didn't do any other triathlons again until 2012 when a friend of mine came down and um, ended up doing my first Olympic distance race out at uh, in Manio North Carolina did the Outer Banks triathlon and that basically reignited the flame and i've been training and trying to do triathlons as often as possible since that point um, at this point i've now done uh, four different sprint triathlons uh, those include of course the honolulu triathlon uh, in 2008 in 2014 i did the sandman triathlon in virginia beach virginia uh, Unfortunately, that was my one and only DNF, which is did not finish. After that, I did the, in 2018, I did both the Williamsburg Rev 3 Sprint Triathlon. And then I also did a triathlon that was put on by the Morale, Welfare and Recreation Department out at Little Creek Naval Base uh, in Norfolk, Virginia. Um, finished both those races in the Williamsburg race. I actually took third place in the Clydesdale division and, um, eventually you're going to see that trophy back behind me somewhere. Moving right along. Um, the purpose of this channel is for me as a larger, heavier, athlete uh, in general triathlete specifically is going to be to um, to a certain extent share my stories uh, share my experiences that I've had both in uh, racing not just triathlon but just like run races in doing bicycle tours uh, as it stands I've got several centuries under my belt on bicycles uh, my favorite century that i ever did i did actually uh back in 2007 uh up in maine and new hampshire where it, basically about 30 miles of the ride was done in maine and about 70 of it was done in new hampshire um it was a great ride except the part where we were riding along the coast went through a cloud of black flies terrible so, anyway, um, I've got a lot of bicycle rides under my belt. Uh, I've got quite a few runs. I'm actually a three-time marathoner. I've done the Outer Banks Marathon, in, which starts in uh, Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina, and winds its way along the East Coast down to Manio, North Carolina. Uh, and then I've also done the one city marathon up in Newport News, Virginia twice. 
Um, my fastest marathon time is five hours, 15 minutes and 34 seconds. Uh, and that was done in 2015. Uh, since then, I haven't run any other marathons. However, I've run many a 5K. I've done um, most recently in at the end of 2019. I did a back-to-back -back 5K and 7K run uh, up in Norfolk, Virginia for the, uh, that was called, I want to say the reindeer dash. Uh, I forget. It was put on by road rage events, road rage events, um, out of Norfolk, Virginia, a uh, well-run race. Uh, I wouldn't mind doing it again. It was pretty good. But, uh, so yeah, a lot of race experience under my belt. Um, and I want to share that with similar bodied athletes. I also want to do uh, gear reviews from the viewpoint of a larger athlete. Um, being our size, we've got, of course, uh, different requirements for what we need, like uh, shoes. Most larger individuals, and they need a little bit more cushioning on shoes. Or if they don't need any particular extra cushioning or they don't need any extra stability or whatever, they're definitely going to put more strain on this particular shoe. So it may not last as long as it would for, you know, a lighter athlete. Um, now, personally, I stand six feet tall. Uh, right now, I'm about probably 245 thanks to the old quarantine for COVID-19. But uh, I stay right around there. I typically, when I'm, you know, at race weight, I'm typically around 225 to 230 pounds. So uh, through racing and through training, um, we put different people my size put different stresses on their equipment, particularly like shoes, uh, racing shorts, racing shirts. So what I'd like to do with this channel and with this series of episodes is to do reviews of different pieces of gear that uh, runners and cyclists and triathletes are going to use. And I'm going to give reviews on these pieces of equipment from the viewpoint of a larger athlete. So... Of course, when I discuss a particular piece of gear, I want to talk about, you know, fit, uh, how it fits, how it feels, uh, whether I'm on, you would want to purchase this piece of equipment or this piece of gear by upsizing or if it fits true to form. And then I'll also talk about longevity of the equipment. On top of that, eventually, uh, I want to take the, the, take the channel into a direction where we're also going to talk about, you know, electronic equipment um, and how useful it is, you know, like such as heart rate straps, uh, Garmin watches or, you know, just fitness watches in general uh, and their usefulness for the larger athletes and how they help us out. Um, and of course, I don't suspect that those reviews will be any particularly different than, you know, if I were somebody weighing 185 pounds doing a review of, you know, in my case, a Garmin Forerunner 920 XT. Um, but, hey, who knows? Um, also, I'd like to use this channel to be uh, motivational in nature so that other individuals that you know are around my size or even bigger um, can see that it can be done and we can race um, and then I, I, just, I just wanted to get the word out that you, you don't let your size hold you back if you feel like oh I want to go run a triathlon or I want to do this grand fondo then you, you go do it you know um that's the number one thing that I want to put out is, you know, just if you got a dream, just go ahead and chase it, you know. But um, so that's that in a nutshell. Um, again, I'm Jim. I am the Celtic Clydesdale. 
and stay tuned for my next video which will drop next Wednesday and in that video we're going to be doing a review of the ASICS Gel Contend 5 running shoes. Um, this is going to be a piece where I'm going to talk to you about a shoe that I've actually been running in for quite a while. I've got a little over 120 miles on two pairs of these shoes uh, that I've been cycling between. And then it'll also, because this particular shoe is a budget shoe, uh, it will basically be a type of review that shows you, hey, you can take a budget shoe from a respectable brand and do something good with it. So until next week, keep on keeping on.